All right, I'm going to start this video. Hopefully, they don't start playing the music on the intercom during the middle of this. Today, we're going to start with angles. We're going to name, we're going to classify, we're going to measure some angles, and then we're going to solve some problems. All of us are pretty familiar with angles. I don't know if you've, if you've ever thought about exactly what makes an angle, but using vocab that we now have, an angle is, is formed by two rays with a common endpoint. Common endpoint A, and I do have my two rays. So that's what an angle is. And if you need to pause to copy this down, go ahead. Measure of an angle. We measure angles in degrees. A degree is just one three sixtieth of a complete circle. Congruent angles. Congruent angles are angles that have the same measure. These little arc symbols in the picture tell us that they're congruent. No matter how the picture looks, if two angles each have an arc, the picture's telling you that they are congruent. I call this angle CBA, or I can call it angle ABC. I call this angle CEF, or I can call it FED. Did I say C? DEF or FED. So therefore, this is angle symbol, angle CBA, congruent. A congruent symbol is a little equal sign with, with a little squiggly to angle DEF. They have the same measure. Angle bisector. Let's see if I can get all that. Let me get the definition up there. No. A ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Okay, that's all an angle bisector does. It splits, an, it splits a bigger angle into two smaller congruent angles. For example, this picture, I have big angle, L, J, M. If you are told, again, you can't ever just look at the picture and say, oh, that looks like it's an angle bisector. It looks like it's in the middle. You must be told, like it says here. Ray JK is an angle bisector of angle LJM. You must be told either in words or in symbols in a geometry class. You can never say it looks equal. They look congruent. You must be told somehow, either in words or in symbols. So this is telling me that these two angles are congruent if JK is an angle bisector. Protractor postulate, you know what, we're going to skip that. Don't, don't worry about writing that one down. We could talk more about that in class. Most of these we're going to be pretty familiar with. An acute angle, I drew a picture. Definition, measures greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees. A right angle measures 90 degrees. Again, like I said up here with congruency, it must have a box or it must tell you in some way that it's a right angle. You can't ever just look at an angle and assume it looks like a right angle, therefore it is a right angle. You have to be told. An obtuse angle measures greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. And a straight angle formed by two opposite rays and it measures 180 degrees. Opposite rays, two rays, two rays share a common endpoint and go in opposite directions. If you need to pause, please, please, please pause. I really want you to have all these notes down. Again, this one's pretty straightforward. They give it a nice fancy name, the angle addition postulate, but we'll see that we've got a nice definition and then we'll explain what it is. If point D lies in the interior, interior just means inside, of angle ABC, so here's big angle ABC, and there is point D on the inside of the angle. Then the measure of angle ABD, the measure of angle ABD, plus the measure of angle D. B, C equals the measure of angle A, B, C. Well, if I look at the picture, that does make sense. The measure of this smaller angle, A, B, D, plus the measure of this smaller angle, D, B, C, does give me the whole thing, angle A, C. Right, so keep that in mind. I'm going to come back here in a second. We'll do this in class again. Don't worry about the protractor stuff. We'll do some protractor stuff in class. This one, use this scan example for the problem. Again, I would try it on your own. Just make sure you're familiar. All of us have using, using, used protractors before. Just make sure you understand what it's asking you to do. First one says find the measure of angle AOD. So AOD, first I find it in the picture. I'm, actually, put your fingers on it. AOD. AOD. That is bigger than a 90 degree angle, so I know to look at the larger set of numbers. Looks like it crosses, there's 160, there's 170, it's in between, so it's 165 degrees. 
Measure of angle AOD is 165 degrees. Now we're going to go to COD. COD, again, put your fingers on it. COD. COD. Looks to me like I can take the bigger angle and I can subtract this smaller angle and it'll give me the measure of angle COD which looks to me like it's 90 degrees. Again, we'll do some protractor stuff in class. And then it wants BOC, BOC. I can take the big angle AOC and I can subtract the measure of AOB and it'll just leave me that piece because that's what I want. So I can take that whole angle AOC, I can subtract from that this piece AOB and it'll leave me BOC which I get to be 35 degrees. Again, please try, when I give you examples, try on your, at least look at them. Look at them first, try to figure them out on your own. And then double check what you get with what I got. Alright, this is more like a problem you'll see on a test than what we're going to be doing in class. D is in the interior of angle ABC. If the measure of angle ABD is 37 degrees and the measure of angle ABC is 84 degrees, then find the measure of angle DBC. Now when it's just words, sometimes it can be hard to picture exactly what they're saying. So I always, always, always draw pictures. So here's my picture. Let's make sure it matches up. So D is in the interior of angle ABC. So angle ABC is the big angle, and D is in the interior. So there it is. There's D on the inside. Then it says, the measure of angle ABD is 37 degrees. So again, put my fingers A, B, D. So they mean this angle, that's 37 degrees. And the measure of angle ABC, ABC. So the big angle is 84 degrees. Then find the measure of angle DBC, so they want this one. Now remember on that last page, according to the angle addition postulate, I should be able to add up this angle plus this angle, and it should be equal to the big angle. So that's what I wrote over here. And when you get good, if you want to skip this step, I mean, you don't have to write, the, this is just where my numbers are coming from. So I'm going to put the measure of angle DBC, one of the smaller angles, plus the measure of angle ABD, the other smaller angle must be equal to the measure of the big angle. Then I just plug in my numbers. So, I, so DBC is X, ABD is 37, and ABC is 84. So X plus 37 must be equal to 84 degrees. Subtract 37 from both sides and I get that X is equal to 47 degrees. So the measure of angle DBC must be equal to 47 degrees because these two had to add up to 84. Let's do another one. Make sure I get it there. All right. The three. BD, that's a little ray symbol. It's kind of hard to see the name on my thing. So ray BD, bisects angle ABC. So again, bisect. This is what I'm talking about vocab. We have to know what these words mean or we're going to get these problems wrong. Bisect, remember, it cuts the angle in two equal pieces. So if the measure of angle ABD is equal to 6X plus 3, and the measure of angle DBC equals 8X minus 7, then find the measure of angle ABD. Okay, so I'm going to, again, I'm always going to start with the picture. Pictures always help me out. They'll probably help you out as well. So first I draw the angle, ABC. A, B, C. It then tells me that ray BD bisects it. So there's ray BD, and it's cutting it into two equal pieces. And I went, and went ahead and put my little arcs. So now I know, yeah, it's a, it's a bisector. I know these two angles are the same. So the measure of angle ABD, ABD is 6X plus 3. And the measure of angle DBC, so DBC, this angle, is 8X minus 7. And what I'm trying to find is the measure of angle ABD. But again, if I have an angle bisector, which it says that I do, what must be true about these two angles? They must be congruent to each other. So that means that 6X plus 3, this angle, must be equal to 8x minus 7, which is this angle. So that's my equation over here. I subtract 6x from both sides, which gives me 3 equals 2x minus 7. I add 7 to both sides, which gives me 10 is equal to 2x. 
I divide both sides by 2 and I get x is equal to 5. This is where on a test a lot of us are going to be tempted to stop. We did all our math, I solved for x so I must be done. But let's go back to the question. It asked me to find the measure of angle ABD. It didn't tell me to find x. It, x. Finding x was not the final answer. But I had to find x first in order to get ABD. Remember, ABD is equal to 6x plus 3. But now I know that x equals 5. So all I do is I go back the measure of angle ABD is equal to 6x plus 3. But again, now I just figured out that x is 5. So I just plug in 5 for x. So 6 times 5 plus 3, which is 30 plus 3, which is 33 degrees. That's all I got for you today.